I'm Anita Agarwal, Associate Professor of Retina and Vitreous Uveitis at Vanderbilt Eye Institute. The book is in, uh, has about 5,500 color pictures. A lot of them are photographs of the eye and several of them are pathology. It's unusual to find a clinical book that has this much pathology in it. Don Gass was a pathologist himself and continued to um, find more pathological tissue to illustrate his clinical uh, points. And I've tried to do that and add more pathology to diseases that are newer, uh, that have been newly described. So I think this book is unique that it does not just have color photographs. And I've, we've tried hard to make the pictures as large as possible and um, have uh, the newer uh, uh, modalities such as OCT. But I would like to say that this book is, uh, is a comprehensive and an exhaustive textbook of um, information that will lead a clinician to make a good diagnosis and manage the patient. It is not an exhaustive uh, collection of clinical trials and results of surgical or other treatment trials. The idea of the book is for a clinician to make a good diagnosis and to understand why a certain disease looks a certain way and how it's different from something else that it closely resembles. The uniqueness about this book is in several places in the book we have citations of other uh, conditions and page numbers and figure numbers. So the reader is novice and doesn't know much, a lot about these diseases can go back and refer to those pictures and be able to compare and contrast the findings so they really have it in their mind as to why a certain disease is that disease and not something else. I think this, this book is useful for every ophthalmologist and definitely retina specialists, residents, fellows. The reason that it's useful is, you know, when we get a patient, even if you're a comprehensive ophthalmologist, you may get a patient that has something unusual and at least a comprehensive ophthalmologist will be able to discern and realize if this patient needs an urgent referral, if this patient needs to go to a certain particular specialist. These are things that the comprehensive ophthalmologist can understand from the Don Gass's book. And the one thing that we've changed in this edition compared to the previous edition is we've put in an extended table of contents. That was the one criticism that I heard from a lot of my retina colleagues was they knew it was in the gas atlas, but they couldn't, they didn't know exactly where to find it. So for that, we've separated the chapters a little bit differently and have an extended table of contents and each disease ent entity, whether it's small or big, is listed in that table of contents and it's very easy to find it. So I think uh, it's going to be very useful for a comprehensive ophthalmologist, certainly for the residents and fellows in retina and for people practicing in retina, even the ones who've been in practice for several years. It's absolutely positive and I think I had the best commissioning editor and the best copy editor in Russell Gavity and Sharon Nash. They've become my close friends over the last three years and I could send them an email at any time and I always get a cheerful email back whether I was uh, uh, a little upset or worried about certain things. They would always calm me down and more than anything they were prompt and uh, accurate and it was just a pleasure to work with them and um, in addition to the two of them that I knew a lot over the last three years, I have to congratulate the illustrator who I never met and didn't really correspond but did a fantastic job of converting all of Don Gass's hand-drawn diagrams into artwork and I think it's fantastic and I have not had um, much corrections to make. I think they just got the idea after the first couple of artworks that they've produced and they just took off and I have, I mean, everything was so good I didn't have to make any corrections except for changing certain colors for certain things. And in addition, I have to thank the, um, the design person, though we want, did not want to make this book very colorful as far as the paper pages were concerned. We just wanted to discern chapters by little color um, borders on the top of the pages and I asked them for pastel shades and I, they picked such good colors that were just appropriate and I was extremely pleased and happy with what they picked and the elegant cover is just it's it's something that's really elegant and I'm, I have to thank him for that yes uh, retina is an exciting specialty it's been exciting since the first day I uh, learned about it and it continues to be exciting, both medically and surgically. 
and we have newer um, surgical techniques, surgical instrumentation, newer diagnostic modalities, and it's really a great time to be a retina specialist.